our first road trip in the van. Oh. <laughs> Having so much fun, though. Yeah, party in the van. Party in the van. Maybe some money. Oh, oh, that's your wallet. <laughs> he loves rolling around. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is a little series that we're gonna call Toby Goes West. And we are gonna take our first official road trip in the van. Yes. For this trip, we are going all the way west. It's gonna be fun. So a little bit about this trip. For this trip, it's been like a two month long process of getting here because I've had to call every state to figure out what we need for Toby, if we need permits, if we need health certificate, if we need any rules and regulations. So this has actually been a long process to get here. And some needed import permits, some needed export permits. Some didn't care, they said, come have fun. We wanted to make sure we're doing this correctly so Toby can experience life. He can experience stuff besides being stuck in Florida. And this is my little family. And, we're going and hopefully on this trip, we're going to show you new scenery and really cool wildlife from other places. <laughs> Don't forget before we go on this trek to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button so you can see every episode, every state and what goes on on this trip. You guys ready to get started? Let's yes. go. Okay, Rhett, what did you find? So this is really cool. This is what we came to look for. We told you we were looking for on the way out. He's an Arizona black rattlesnake. We found one right here. It's a juvenile just getting ready to cross the road. And these guys, they actually are really cool. They're like chameleons in the fact that they change color depending 
depending on sometimes the time of day. It'll go from this color to the next day, it'll be jet black with yellow on it. At this size, they kind of look like an organis, which is a Southern Pacific or Northern Pacific rattlesnake. Super cool. Toby, this is your first Arizona black. <laughs> Tay, this is your first Arizona yeah. black, and I've only ever seen a couple of these, so this is super exciting. And look how beautiful it is. No, we read so excited. This is actually, so this is our sixth species of rattlesnake on this trip. Every single day, we found a different species of rattlesnake, and that's what's so exciting about Arizona. We love the Southwest, is because the amount of rattlesnake diversity is incredible. In the Southwest, you know, Mexico and all that, that's where rattlesnakes first evolved, too. So that's why there's so much diversity in these areas. The few of these that I've seen, they've been very placid. She is a little scared because the back half of her is all flattened out. She's doing those long tongue flicks. All right, Tobe, like every species, we got to get, uh, what did you think your first? And Brett, he doesn't care about it because he went straight into the car for banana. You're not even filming me. Well, I was showing him how close the snake is. He's actually pretty far back. So he went in the car for a banana break. Yeah, you were filming him and Toby's like, let's go eat a banana. Tobe, you have got a better life list than half the people out there. Here. Oh my god. Oh my god, Toby. Your snake hook is killing me, bro. Your snake hook is the best. Ow. Alright, Ty. That was a Brett. <laughs> oh, he's crawling under my Where is he? Well, that didn't go as planned. So, people always wonder what happens if you almost step on a rattlesnake. Taylor scared it while I was focusing on video, and it's right under my foot. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I would just let him crawl, but he's probably going to sit there, so I'm just going to move my leg away slowly. Ready? Look how easy that was. And look where he went. No worries. Okay. So, that was a good find. Let's keep looking. Oh, and he goes back off into the bushes. See ya, buddy. God, I love hunting rattlesnakes in Arizona. Okay, guys, so we just found that. What's it called? Arizona Black. I forgot its name because it wasn't black. So, you know, that was a disappointment. But at least we found one. The night has just begun. It is still early. I'm drinking energy drink, so I have still about two hours in me before I take a nap. Oh, we also found a Western Diamondback oh, yeah. tonight. Oh. Yeah, we also Brain found hands. a Western Diamondback in a habitat where I was hoping we wouldn't see them. <laughs> guys, I know I seem really sarcastic, like I'm not having a good time, but that's just me. I'm sorry. I'm you tired. and Toby are the two most great jaded herpers I know. I know. I'm sorry. Taylor is so hard to please. I we've, am. we've been racking in the rattlesnakes and she'll be like, okay, next one. That's just me, though. I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Look, no night would be complete without a Western Diamondback. Look, th look how pale that one is. Yeah. It's a really pretty one. He's like, we found a big dead one that was patternless, and this isn't too far off. Whoa, whoa, I hear another rattle right here. There's a second one. Did you almost step on one? Yeah, look, there's a second one right there. I almost stepped on a second one. Him? No, he's right there. Oh, he's on small. Yeah. So that one was going that way, and I heard by one. Where'd the other one go? I don't have my headlamp on. I don't want to step on it. Oh, there it goes. By one, get one free. There goes the bigger one. Man, so cool being in a place that's literally, that's a big one. Crawling with rattlesnakes. Wait, where's the, oh dude, I just got stuck by a cat. Oh, that scared me. No night would be complete without two Western Diamondbacks. Maybe they're heating up to the dirt. Probably. We're going to a new spot. What'd you find? Another Western. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. They're really pale. Look how pale the tails are here. Are they like pinkish? No, Rhett, not at all. Okay, guys, Rhett was talking all that crap, but I saw a snake getting off the road when we were driving, and Rhett didn't even see it. There's very little pattern on this snake. Look at how reduced pattern that is. How can you not see how reduced it is? He's very twitchy. Look at that, there's little pattern on the face. Okay guys, so we've been finding some cool stuff. And so we decided to eat our dinner, which is a rotisserie chicken and salad. The salad was okay. The chicken is literally so bland. And we have no sauce.
sauce that we have to take bites and then chug water just to get it down. This is our sauce. Well, look what's that in the road. I can see that, right? Let's see what it is. A demolished Western. Is it pink? I'm sure it's not. Dude, there's pink Westerns and I want to find a pink Western. I'm going to pull you up to it. Tell me if it's pink. Okay, just found a Dior Western that was definitely not pink, but you know, this poor red guy. I feel so bad for him. Are any of our We're other the... viewers colorblind? I want to know. How is it? Do you enjoy it? Do you wish you weren't colorblind? Rolling through road cuts with the lights on. Was that your song? Yeah. <laughs> road cut rolling. Drinking Tubby, and driving. Drinking, drinking. Tab, you love your sippy cup? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hydrated. Toby, you looking for snakies? Snackies, right? Snacks. Tobe loves looking for stuff. Tobe, do you see one? Tobe, what's that? Do you get him? He doesn't see it. He just thinks there's something. Dude, that looks great. Okay, stunt monkey. Yeah, like, what is this, Toby? <laughs> He's like, I can grab for beetles while you shine. We've been rolling with our sidebars on like we do in Florida. Look how much it lights that up, and let me show you what I just spotted. Where, where the heck did it go? Oops, I might have lost it already. Where the heck is it? It was out on a rock, where'd you go? Might have disturbed it and it crawled away. Oh, there, there it is. Look, right in the middle. I'll circle it if I have to. Right in the middle, rattlesnake. Bingo. Beautiful little uh, mountain phase black tail. All right, Tay, hop out. I'll go park and I'll come meet you guys. Cool thing about is the later the night goes on, the snakes might not be crossing roads, but they'll actually come out of their rock holes and just sit on top of the rocks. Oh, wow. Try and get up here. Third species of rattlesnake tonight. And we don't want to storm his holes right there, so we're just gonna take a quick video and get on. disturb them too much. We're driving back to our campsite and there's one last snake on the road. Really late. It's about Aww. midnight. Hi buddy. And it's a uh, Mojave Green. So cool. This is our fourth species of rattlesnake tonight alone. This guy is kind of like the cotton mouth of the West. Everyone is always so afraid of Mojave Green. Mojave Green, Mojave Green. They're super feared because they are a little snappy. And just like any other snake, they're going to run away from you. Just like the Western Diamondbacks and all the other rattlesnakes. And I think they're one of the cool... Well, I think all rattlesnakes are cool. Yeah. I say that about Your everything. opinion doesn't, like, yeah, help. My, um, you ready to keep keeping on? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to keep keeping on to that campground, baby, to go to sleep. to sleep. <laughs> it is chilly out tonight, so we're going to sleep good in the van. We'll move them across, see if he'll get going. If you're going to try to move animals across the road to help them, always move them the direction yeah. they're going. You know what? We'll just leave you there. There okay. you go. A lot of time. Doing some night hiking. Already snorting bugs. Yeah, I think there's actually mosquitoes in this spot. Because they're buzzing in my ear. The vegetation's so deep, it's making it hard to shine rocks. It's good though. For... Can you go any further? Ooh. Brett, what do we have? Oh, is that cool? Another liar snake. We got one of these while hiking a trail. And these are actually a pretty uncommon snake. Oh, see that beetle just beat his ass? So cool, Tay. Okay, Tobe, I don't want you to touch him because you never know. There's a lot of 
word of mouth things people say about reptiles that are not true. And one is that venomous snakes have cat eyes. These are not like true venomous snakes in the sense that they can harm you with their venom. They're not deadly or harmful. And they have cat eyes, which is super cool. And I'll see if I can zoom in. Show us your cat eyes. There it is. Perfect. These guys are like little lizard eaters. These are such a cool little snake. And I feel very fortunate to be able to find one of these. In Costa Rica, we find tons of these. Yeah. Tay, do you like liar snakes? Yeah, I like them. Toby's eating bugs out of your hair. No, he's like grooming me for some reason right now. He's grooming you? Yeah, I don't know. Why. Toby, why are you being a weirdo? No, you can't grab him. No, no. These get surprisingly big. We've found them up to like four feet. Yeah. And one that was probably five feet in Costa Rica. Let's keep uh, hiking and see what else we can find. Look what's crossing the road that we're walking. Dude, yeah, he's so calm. Yeah. Oh, that is a... Tay, go stand behind him. That is a big black tail. Yeah, that That's got to be... Wild. That is actually got to be one of the biggest black tails I have ever seen. Yeah, that's a solid four foot. Oh, you here. startled yourself. Come here, silly. We'll get him out here in the open. That's a gorgeous one, Tay. Yeah. That's a big old rattle. Tobe, you excited? It's a big rattlesnake, Toby. See, Toby doesn't like this one. Dude, why do they always crawl towards me with the light? Oh, cool. He's got like connected bands on the back. Look at him. We thought. Okay, last snake of the night, and then boom. Big black tail crosses the trail in front of us. Good spot, Tay. I'm all focused on the shoulders and their, their color. See, again, look, he's not chasing me. He's just trying to get... Yeah. And these guys, I've actually never had a black tail strike at me before. There's always a first for everything, but if you could just settle down for us. There you go. Look at that sweet stripe on his neck. Hey, look at Simon. He does. Oh, that's my foot. It's fine. It's fine. Look at that sweet little disconnected stripe. Man, I just, it is so amazing being in the land of rattlesnakes. Remember, just be safe. I will. I'll be gentle. Um, I just picked him up to get him in the trail so we could get video and I want to show you something about learning individual species and individual animals. We found quite a few black tails and they're always just the most docile and gentle of the rattlesnakes. You'd never see us handling a Mojave like this or a Western Diamondback like this. The, uh, the black tails, they, you notice he hasn't even rattled. They're very, very gentle dispositioned animals. He's got a big meal in his belly. He's just trying to cross the trail and we've approached him very, very slowly. And these are just the most docile of the rattlesnakes. We're staying calm. I'm not moving a lot. I'm not scaring him. And this is a, a big old adult. How many buttons does he have? People want to know. This is an older snake. They're all symmetrical sideways. Uh, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen buttons that are all symmetrical, which means that's thirteen sheds since he stopped growing. This could be an over ten year old rattlesnake. Ever. Remember, the amount of buttons does not say how old he is because they have a new button every time they shed, and when they're babies, they shed multiple times a year. So you, that doesn't really help you. No. And remember, we do not condone handling venomous species just because they are docile. We are just trying to tell you that they're not here to harm you. If you see one, just get away from it. Yeah. Just leave it alone. All right, guys, look. We just found a night snake crawling around in the rocks. This is our first live one of the night. Yeah. And he's got a meal on his tummy. Okay, let's let him go. So long. Farewell, buddy. How much longer are we walking around for? All right, on our walk back through, we see our black tail again. Let me zoom in. There it is. Way up the rocks. Beauty. It's a big old black tail. You know, he just kills me the way you and Toby walk. How he just holds you back. 
laziest little man alive. You breaking our fan? Cub style. Yeah, it's about time. Okay guys, it is three something in the morning and we finally are at our campground to go to sleep. It is pretty comfortable. It's like 75 degrees or something. It is awesome. We yeah. like drove way up into some mountains. It's beautiful mm -hmm. and it's nice and cool out here compared to down in the lowlands. Mm -hmm. And we put some bug nets over because I just killed a mosquito. Yeah, there's a friggin' mosquito. Ah, that's how good the weather is that mosquitoes had to come out. And we just saw a skunk on our drive over, but of course, when I get the camera out, it ran away. But and we had a super awesome day night. Saw some super four cool species animals. Species of rattlesnakes. Yeah, that was awesome. That was really cool. So and Rhett, the biggest black tail I've ever seen. And Rhett wanted to keep going, even though we haven't seen anything in like a minute, and he's really annoying. But I forced him to make us go to sleep. So we're gonna head to bed now. You know, early night of 3 a.m. And then we're gonna wake up and go for a morning hike. It was three instead of 3:30. I told you it'd be an early <laughs> night. Exactly. So. We're gonna head to bed. Hope you guys had a fun time following along with us. And let's see what we will do tomorrow. Toby, thank you for letting us stay in your room. Yeah, thanks for letting us come into the Toby cave. Okay, good night. Good night. <laughs>